Hey guys, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Heroes content. Today, we're taking a look at the Double Special Heroes banner forecast again. It's been a little while, we actually missed one, so we have some catching up to do. We're going to go back and look at my prediction for the February banner, I believe that's what it was. We're going to see if I got that one right, and then we'll look at my prediction I made for this April banner, and we'll see if I was close or if I got it right, and then we'll move on to the future banners. If you enjoy these videos or you find them helpful, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be up to date next time I make a prediction or forecast. All right, let's just get right to it. So this was the forecast that we were working with back in January. Uh, this was, I was predicting the next banner, which I thought would be in March or April, but then it ended up being in February. Uh, speaking of me being wrong about things, this uh, this prediction was actually incorrect. Uh, I thought they would do Prayer on red, but they actually did Nasala. Uh, otherwise, my prediction was correct. So this was actually overall good, because it, this was basically proving that they are going to start doing two four-star focuses per banner. Otherwise, there was really no reason for them to skip all the way up to um, Curse Naga. So that was good, at least we confirmed that little suspicion. But now, now that they've set this precedent where they have seemingly skipped Freyr for no reason at all, uh, that does make these predictions generally less reliable because uh, there will be other instances where you know, they can just as easily run this character instead of that character, and I won't be able to see it coming. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm not going to try and anticipate cases where they do this, just because it's impossible to tell when they'll do it. So I'm not going to change the way I do these predictions, even though I was wrong that one time. Moving on. Uh, so I didn't make a video about this prediction, but I did make a Reddit post about it. For the April banner, this was the forecast we were working with. Based on that, I made this prediction. I just thought that it would be the next two characters in each color, nothing too crazy. Uh, our duos were Corn and Lysithia. We have two four stars sharing on blue, which did happen pretty recently, so we know that's possible. And this prediction was correct. So that's good. That does restore a little bit of confidence. Right, we can go ahead and shade out all of those guys. So we can cut off four of these old banners. And now our forecast looks like this. So we've added the spring banner and the young banner. And uh, kind of interesting, these last couple of banners have broken the trend of having one unit per color. Uh, from the perspective of these double special banners, it it could make sense because for a long time we've had red just kind of like falling behind the other colors. So if they were going to go a couple banners not doing red units, then that would make sense. Uh, but then on the young banner, they just went ahead and did uh, two red units anyway. So they probably don't account for the double special hero banners when they're like planning the special banners. Uh, that was just an observation I made. Anyway, with this forecast in mind, my prediction for June's banner looks like this. We have Shinon and Manuela on red, Mirabilis and Reagan on blue, uh, Duo Dogger and uh, Harmonize Azura on green, and uh, Liar and Robin on colorless. There's a couple of things that stick out here. I guess the most obvious thing is that we're going to have Dogger and Azura uh, color sharing on green, so that's pretty exciting. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't do that, so uh, I would say it's pretty likely that that's going to happen. Our two four-star focuses are Manuela and Liar. Manuela kind of sticks out because, um, you know, they could have done Liar and Zane, but I think I think they're going to do Manuela this time because they can't have her color share with Krom in the next banner, and then they won't be able to have her color share with Ike in the banner after that, so... I think we have to get Manuela now, otherwise she'll end up being like a bunch of months late. And yeah, that's why we're skipping Zane for now in favor of Robin, because uh, as far as we can tell, these banners are going to have two four-star focuses, so Zane will have to wait until later. My prediction for August's banner looks like this. We have Fafnir and Krom on red, Carla and Owain on blue, Lucina and Sonya on green, 
and Zane and Soren on Colorless. Nyla is going to get skipped for now, although I guess it could just as easily be Fafnir that gets skipped, but assuming they stick to the order, it'll be uh, Nyla that gets skipped in favor of Krom because he's just our next duo unit that needs to run along with Sonya. Now on this banner, what makes me uncertain is just our four star focuses because uh, they could do Zane with Henry or they could do Owain. Uh, the only reason I'm leaning towards Owain is because he's just uh, more recent, or I guess older is what he would be. So I think they'll stick to the order as best as possible. And then we'll get Henry later in October's banner. We're already looking out all the way to October. <laughs> Red, we've got Nyla and Ike. Blue, we've got Delphia. Green, we have Maria and Ileana. And on Colorless, we just have Henry. I, it feels like I have less units to work with than usual. I feel like I can usually fit in like three full banners on the, on the forecast, but this time I can't. We actually don't know what our other duo or harmonized unit will be for the October banner, so we'll have to wait and see. That will definitely affect who will be on the October banner, so definitely uh, uh, don't, don't weigh the October prediction too heavily because it can very easily change depending on who the harmonized unit is on the Brides banner is what it would be. And that's our full forecast for the upcoming Double Special Heroes banners. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this enjoyable or helpful. Go ahead and subscribe. And hopefully I'll have time to make more Fae videos in the near future. I say it every time, but uh, for the past couple months I haven't gotten around to it. So here's hoping. Alright, catch you guys next time.